Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem Echoes. In the last episode, we entered the Seabound Shrine and went further back than I had anticipated to, uh, because there is stuff here. It seems like this place is much larger than I had anticipated, so... I probably should have made it uh, a, a sacrifice, or not a sacrifice, but an offering at the Milla statue. Uh, there's a font here. Uh, this one has resistance. Oh, you know what? This is... We're probably almost... Oh! Uh, so, note to self, cutting grass can also yield those, uh, those, those coins. That's good to know. All right, this other side probably has uh, something as well. Anyway, we're gonna continue exploring the Seabound Shrine and hopefully finding this uh, sword that apparently is uh, all the rage here. What if this? It's I find it funny how this how this doesn't use stamina. Me just like slashing through everything. All right, this one has experience. Who needs? Will it level people up if I use it? I mean, better to learn than than to not. So, who's my lowest level guy? Kamui. It does level him up. All right, cool. Whoa! It gives him a full level. Apparently, I can get even stronger. Apparently, you can. Uh, let's give the next one to Bowie. Dang! Evading attacks is easy when you can see what's coming. Okay. Sacred Spring has run dry. Does the other one still have stuff in it, or did that one run dry as well? Because usually these these uh these springs run in pairs. Uh I cannot get down from there. Alright, hang on. Nope, that one's still going. So these are and these are uh individual of each other. Interesting. Let's give, uh... Let's give two to boy. Spring is dry. Okay, so, the ones that are alone, you have two charges, whereas the ones that are paired with another one have three charges across both of them. Good to know. More coins! I have no idea what these coins actually do. I'm pretty sure there's an explanation for them and I missed it entirely. At any rate, this seems to be the end of the shrine. Blessed sword. All right, we seem to have gotten we gotten it. So let's see what it does. Convoy, blessed sword. It has Jesus. Oh my God. A sword said to drive away evil. This, so this probably has advantage against, uh, against, uh, uh, terrors. But also has plus three attack, hit of a hundred, crit ten, range of one, and doesn't weigh anything. Does that thing break? That's a ridiculously good sword. Glad I came through here. Although I guess I didn't have to fight off the Necro Dragon in order to be able to come here in the first place, so... At any rate, I think it's about time we left here. Uh, I'm not gonna make an offering to the Milla statue. I should see, though. Uh, hang on. Milla statue, change class. Do I get to actually see what it- Yeah, okay. He gains 6 HP, 1 defense, and 1 movement. I'm gonna wait on it, just so I can get him some more, uh, some more, uh, stats. Before, uh, before moving on to that. Maximizing, as it as it were. Because unless he gains, like, an extra ability from doing that immediately, I'm probably gonna keep him as an archer. Because if- yeah, if from- from leveling up, uh, the- my villagers into, uh, into actual classes, um, I noticed that- that, uh, they, uh, reset to level one. Or, I guess the- the villagers that were with Alm. Whoa! Don't want to fight. Now I was, yeah, you know, I was gonna turn back and fight, but then I was like, "Nah, screw it. I'm not gonna fight." Ew. 
Got an award, Season Hero, awarded for attending a large number of battles. Excellent, excellent, excellent! Okay. So where to next? We've bested the sea, the uh, the seabound shrine. A new enemy is uh, is uh, risen there. Although I'm assuming that they all that they're gonna constantly be spawning there no matter what. So let's go ahead and make our way to Zofia Harbor. Whew. We finally arrived, Zofia Harbor. At last, that was quite a journey. Ah, you've come! You've truly come! Hmm? Welcome, my lady priestess. I hear it was you what rid us of Barth and his band of pirates. A real blessing that was. Can't thank you enough. Oh, it was nothing so grand. In fact, it was the least a person could do. To be honest, it was as much for my own sake as it was yours. Grivens, but that's a thing to say. Your strength and generosity are matched only by your modesty, milady. We were at our wits' end dealing with those seaborn thugs, and no mistake. So whatever your reasons, you've done us a fine service. Do let me thank you. Oh, I couldn't possibly. <laughs> Maybe she couldn't, but I sure could. Where's the pub around here, friend? Just this way, sir, just this way. First round's on me, it is. Again, I f- Now hold on just a- Saber, get back here! Uh, Miss Priestess, ma'am, I also wanted to thank you. I can send my husband to sea now, without sleepless nights of worry. Oh, well I... I see. That's... I'm very glad to hear it. Yes, well, thank you again, ma'am. May the Mother's blessings guide you. This is some reception we're getting, huh, Celica? I've been getting thanked left and right, too. Kinda makes the fighting worth it. <laughs> Your tune changes more easily than a traveling minstrel's. Back on the ship, it was all belly aching. Mostly about your aching belly. Hey, I was seasick. It's a medical thing. And you're hardly one to talk, Bowie. You're drooling all over yourself after that buxom maid offered her thanks. I did no such thing. <laughs> now look what you've done, you boob! You've got Celica laughing at us again! Not at all. I'm proud of you both for all your hard work. I never truly realized how rewarding it was to help others like this. It's a wonderful feeling, and we're blessed to be able to experience it. Finally! Okay! I, I was wondering, it's like, am I ever gonna be able to actually do anything? Another herring? Ooh, a black pearl. Uh, fish. We found the docks. Life of fisherman is hard, though I imagine it carries its own reward. Cat! Look all alike. Perhaps they'll come from one big cat family? So many cats. It must be an easy life for them here. Anything else around? More fish. I've not seen most of these fish. The boat must the boats must come in from all over. All right, nothing there. Uh, talk. Alessio. Too much for that, dear. Alas, oh, my tales are woeful indeed. Does it do his woeful tale? Sure. I have a buyer lined up for a shipment of coral fragments. Fine price, too. I came here to Sophia Harbor to source the goods, but it seems local fishing trades dry up on account of pirates. I wrung a few fragments out of a cellar, uh, out of cellar contacts here, but I'm still five short. My client's not a patient man if I don't deliver them before Pegasteam's end. Please, you must help me for the sake of my poor kneecaps. If anyone can find coral fragments, I'll pay twice the going rate. Sell a coral fragment? Do I have any? Or do you not have any? This is a serious business, friend. I don't, I don't even know where to find coral fragments. This is like a shop around here that sells them. Also, that guy who was looking for mana herbs as well. How many mana herbs do I have anyway? Because I could probably run back to there and give those to him. Inventory. Mm, convoy. Mana. I only have one? I could have sworn I had two. Oh, you know what? I keep getting my... Uh, uh, is the entrance to the tavern or I can just leave the harbor? Let's go to the tavern. 
Colorful folks there, there are. Colorful folks. Talk to... Oh, it's another one of them gossiping ladies. Did you hear some pirate dogs made for Greece Citadel with a girl in tow? Truth, a brave sellsword staying at the pub even took after the poor dear. But Greece ain't the sort you cross and live to speak of. Nasty fellow he is. Hmm, probably a future, uh, future companion for us. From Cutpurse to Corsair, every thief in Sophia answers to a man called Grief. Even the pirate king Barth was but one of his henchmen. Grief's citadel stands tall in the desert. Colossal thing it is. That's where they hold all the captives his men bring as tribute. Still think they should be talking with British accents. Ca Tavern keep wife. With all that's going on in the world lately, my children are afraid. I'd love to bake something sweet to put a bit of joy in their lives. With the war going on, ingredients are, are, are dear, so they are. But I need some flour, honey, and butter. If you've, uh, if... I know you've, you, you've your own mouths to feed, but do you have any, any to spare? Do I have any honey? Hmm, it's not quite enough. Can't bake much of anything without flour, honey, and butter. I've got flour and butter, I just don't have the honey. Examine. Cold soup. Ale. More cold soup over there, but I can't see that far. Unless if I zoom in, I'll be able to see it. Nope, that just makes it worse. Chandelier. Chandelier is rather old, but it's still quite impressive. Casks. How long would it take to drink all this? Probably not as long as I imagine. Ale. Some fine wine. That seems like it's all she wrote, it is. Why do I move to the... Why do I move left faster than I can move uh, Move right when I'm zoomed in? That's gotta be like a programming error or something. All right, let's go to the entrance of town. It's, it's like a dream. The pirates scuttled, Zofia castle free. I keep asking people to pinch. The castle is freed? How do you mean? Didn't you hear? The deliverance have run to say out of the castle. Word is, they have a new leader who led the attack himself. He's a young lad, and claims to be the grandson of General Mycin. Whoever he is, the boy brought the entire army back from the brink. General Mycin? Grandpapa? Are you certain of this? Of course I am. Wouldn't do a man to repeat baseless rumor now, would it? The boy's the talk of the kingdom. A hero's grandson turned hero himself. Oh, God. Interesting. And the person leading the deliverance is... It's like the dawn of a new day for us. To think, we've got a hero on our side. The deliverance forces are holding in Sophia Castle for now. But there's talk of them taking up the march again before long. They won't stop till there's nary a Regalian dog left on Zophian soil. Then they mean to march on the Regalian army? Oh, Ohm. How can you be so reckless? Uh, Selica, is everything all right? You look pale as a shade. Did Bowie tell some stupid ghost story again? No, I'm... I'm fine, thank you. But might we travel to Zofia Castle before setting out for the temple? There's something I need to see for myself there. At the castle? You know we would follow you anywhere, milady. but... Is that wise? It's been years, Bowie. No one there would recognize me as I am now. Mm hmm? What's this now? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Just talking about... about... that maid. You know, the lovely one who was asking after you over at the pub? Said something about wanting to give whoever sank those pirates her thanks? Did she now? Well, a hero mustn't spurn a lady's wishes. I've dreamt of you for so long. Dreamt I might see you again. But please, not like this. The leader of the Deliverance? I pray this is some horrible mistake. Still, I'll only know for sure once I see for myself. Uh... Hello, ladies. First, let me examine. Can't examine them, unfortunately. An orange! Market. They're selling fish and fresh fruit. So many different kinds grow here in Zofia. Aha! 
Coral fragment. Only four more to go. I wonder if there's a time limit on that quest. Another cat. Hello, Mr. Kitty. You're looking very plump today. Aw, uh, who's a plump kitty? Alright, well, let's solve that. Let's talk to these two lovely ladies. Katria. I'm Katria. I'm traveling with my sister Paula in search of our younger sister, Est. She was taken by pirates. We followed them this far, but now the trail has gone cold. I'm eager to find her so the three of us can return together to Arcanea. Oh my! Are you the priestess Celica? The one who defeated the Dread Pirates? This entire harbor's awash with talk of it. You must be very strong. I am Pala. I hail from Arcanea to the east. If I might ask, did you happen to see a young girl in the lair of those pirates? No? Alas, then she was taken elsewhere. Uh, I wonder if we move back to the tavern if something different happens. Nope. Uh, I, these de definitely seem like party members. Let me try talking to Katria again. I'm Katria. I'm traveling with my. No, I, I, I don't think anything's gonna be different here. Uh, move to. Leave harbor? Unless, like, we were supposed to get somebody when we were fighting with other people. I guess we're leaving the harbor. Yeah, no, we didn't see anybody in the... Pirate th Hold on, did I actually take a close look inside the Pirate Throne interior there? Anything you gotta say, Bowie? Uh, Saber. I think that's, that's old news there. Maybe she has been moved. Yeah, Treasure Vault, I already talked to all these people. There was no young girl in here. I'm pretty sure she would have been named as well, so I would have known that. Uh, let's see. There's zombies there. Oh, whatever. I guess we're heading over to Zofia Castle. And to this area, Zofia Castle? Yes. Jumping jesters, now this is a castle. It's huge. I mean huge. And it's gorgeous. Keep it down, would you, May? We're not here to gawk at the sights like a band of slack-jawed wayfarers. Whatever, Professor Funslayer. Even you have to admit it's great. I never said it wasn't impressive. A far cry from the ramshackle fishing huts we grew up in, that's for sure. I know, right? Can you imagine living in a place like this? With servants and meat pies and... <clears throat> <sighs> oh, right. Shoot, Celica, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to... Actually, you know what? <laughs> I think we'll just go on ahead. <sighs> What's going on here? What do you mean? Those two's eyes near fell out when they saw this place, but you ain't impressed. What? N no, I'm very impressed. Speechless, actually. That's all. Uh-huh. Well, whatever you say, lass. Let's get inside already. <sighs> I never thought I'd set foot in these halls again. But this is to see Ulm. And in that case, enough. I need to hurry. What's wrong? Join me, O oh child of fate. Come to Lord Duma's side. Ugh. These must be the remnants of Desay's blasted army. We're not deliverance, you idiots. Leave us out of this. These aren't Desay's men, Saber. They're... I think they're here for me. Well, they're gonna have you at this rate. Damn those two morons for running off and leaving us. Their giddy little sightseeing tour is gonna get us killed! Ah! Salika! Be ah! gone, you base filth! 
You are unfit to lay hand or eye upon the young woman. Who, who are you? My name is a greater boon than you deserve. If you would keep your heads, you must depart this place at once. You dare to? Enough! Ignore the newcomer! Take the girl by force! Who are you, sir? My name matters not for the nonce. In time, all will be made clear. No more words. Fight. Unless you wish to leave this place in chains. Right. Gasp! So we are set headlong into a battle. It's three on two. Saber, Celica, and this mysterious masked knight who is a paladin. Very strong he is. They're casting my asthma over. They casting my asthma over here. Enemies will come in, cast their spells. I cast mine back. I level up. Whoa! What a level up! Uh, I could have used that expel. Okay, never mind. I can reach this guy. Excellent. Uh, Seraphim doesn't really seem to do much to him. Have anything I could attack from a distance? No. I do have my provisions, though. I'll be down to 10 at this rate. Will he be able to attack? No, he won't be able to reach me from there. All right. She comes over here, fires this guy. You! Ow. Are fired! Uh, can he... He cannot finish them off. Alright, hopefully... Hope for a crit! No crit! No crit! Oh, no. Ow. Ow again. Don't go for the weak ones! You grandstanding ass! Provisions. All items. Let's go ahead and eat my... Let me go ahead and just eat my, uh... Well, I can't eat my golden dagger now, can I? Well, I've got access to all of them, so... Yeah, nuts to that. Cold soup. Ah, uh -huh, you can't kill him. I'm ready for anything. Except he can't get in to do any damage. Black magic upon him. Oof. Yeah, ah, oh, you missed. You missed. Provisions. Uh, I really only need something that recovers 10 health. Uh, a little bit of flour ought to do me. I ain't picky, but really? Shh. Ready to move out. All right, attack. Deal a decent chunk of damage to him. Aha, you missed! And now he gets his reward. Probably should have equipped the, the blessed sword to somebody before we started this, but you know well. He's rushing him. Alright, well, I don't think we have to worry much longer. Considering that he just took that guy out with he's taking this guy out with nary uh nary an issue here. Battle complete. Uh, a win's a win. <laughs> yeah, considering that the mass knight did everything else. Uh, fall back, retreat. But know this girl, nothing will stay us from our purpose. The enemy is retreating. We did it! You have my thanks, good sir. But I must ask again, who are... Huh? 
If you're looking for the fop in the mask, he took off already. What was he on about anyway? Some friend of yours or the like? I honestly have no idea. Well, ain't that reassuring. <laughs> Guess we'll chuck that mystery on the pile along with whoever attacked us. I suppose we will. Though for what it's worth, I still don't believe they were to say's men. They were more like that man who tried to take me prisoner at sea. But who would want to take me captive? And for what purpose? Damn that masked vermin! Fie and fie again! Now I must explain to Jeddah how we failed to secure the girl. Beg pardon, friend. You with the Regellian army, perchance? Uh, who asks such of me? Soft, friend, soft. I'm not your enemy. I was working under Desai, but those damned rebels ran us out of the castle. I was thinking I might defect to Regal. In exchange for my services, of course. <laughs> and you expect me to trust a man who so utterly lacks shame? You sure you can afford not to? You just got your scrawny hides kicked trying to kidnap one little girl. You really want to go back to the boss man empty-handed? <sighs> See, I know about this little forest northwest of Sophia Castle. And in this forest, there's a village. And in this village, there's a log. There's a bump on the log and a hole in the bottom of the sea. Let's talk to some people here, mate! Celica, I think I'm broken. Look, I know you set out on this journey with a solemn purpose and junk. And while I know that, I can't help but feel super crazy excited about it. I mean, I've barely even been off the island before. But I feel terrible for feeling this way. It seems so disrespectful, you know? Huh? You don't mind? You sure about that? Then I guess I'll take that as permission to be super excited. You should try to have some fun with this too. It'll do you good. Oh, but the whole solemn purpose thing is still top priority. Obviously. But we'll be seeing new things, meeting new people. It's important to enjoy it. Oh, you. Sophian soldier. Three huzzas for Sophia's liberators, and three huzzas for all. <gasps> Truly, he is the hero Sophia has been waiting for. And he's every bit the champion General Mycen was. Make no mistake, the Regalian Empire is as fearsome a foe as they come. But with Alm leading our forces, we needn't fear any man! Gasp! Everyone's laughing and cheering, but my gut's one big knot. Only a fool'd think the Regalian Empire would back down without a fight. Emperor Rudolph's Order of Knights are scary enough. But what about that Duma priest Jeddah and his horde of Arcanists? How are normal folks supposed to fight against men who conjure terrors? A very good question. Let's move on to the treasure vault! Uh, examine. Uh, if there were any items in here, I'm assuming they were cleared out by Alm. The sunset. Sunset is breathtaking. Okay, I guess that was all they needed to know. Treasure chest. Oh, there's a single gold mark in here. Wait, no, it's a piece of candy. Supplies. I don't think there's anything we can use. Jeez, oil sport. Let's go to the central hall then. Proceed. Mm, yes. Talk to ch cheese lover. I consider cheese the greatest gift to man, and I dedicate my life to it. Scour the world for new cheesy treats, and I'll see you rewarded accordingly. Okay, we just gotta come back to him with cheese every now and again. Are you headed for the Temple of Mila, Lady Priestess? Oh, I do wish you'd reconsider. That whole area's crawling with thieves working in the employ of grief. The very ground itself is rotten. Hunks of cliffside slough off near every day. You might easily find yourself with no way back, so be careful, okay? Don't John know. Young woman, 
Sure, Desai and those Regellian thugs turned tail and ran. But our crops still aren't growing, and we've no shortage of terrors. What do you suppose could have happened to Mila? Some men have gone to the temple to investigate, but none have returned. I say we've bigger problems than fighting a war, but no one asks me. Mm, yeah, okay. Anyway, let's see what we can do. Staircase? Grandpapa? What are you doing here? It's been so very long, Selica. Oh, Grandpapa! I'd have resigned myself to never seeing you again. As had I. And yet here you are, grown into a beautiful young woman. Though I fear we lack the time for a leisurely reunion. Surely you left the island with some purpose in mind, yes? I did. I'm going to the Temple of Mila. All that's transpiring in Zofia now is tied to the Earth Mother. I can feel it in my very marrow. There's more to be done than simply fighting the foes laid before us. I must learn Mila's will in all of this. I also intend to pray that she intercedes on behalf of her people. That she might save us all. I see. Just as Ulm has chosen his path, it would seem you have chosen yours. Ulm? I'd suspected as much, but your being here confirms it. He's leading the Deliverance, isn't he? Why don't you go upstairs and see for yourself? I expect that's where you'll find what you've been searching for. the story. I'm trying to picture you swashbuckling pirates and... yeah, just... wow. I didn't mean to swashbuckle anyone. It just sort of... happened. But forget all that for the moment. Oh, um, you aren't really planning to fight the Regellian Empire, are you? Listen, it's not... it's not something I chose. They were the ones who attacked us. But there must be a way to resolve things other than bloodshed, no? That's a pretty thought, Selica, but I'm not sure it's true. If it were, no one would be risking life and limb on the battlefield. Is it really so naive? Zofians and Regellians are both people of Valentia, are we not? I know we can reach some kind of accord if we just try. Besides that, I... I just can't imagine Emperor Rudolph is the monster some claim him to be. It doesn't matter what sort of man he is. The Regellian Empire chose to cross Zofia's border. That's a fact. We aim to drive back the invaders. Nothing more. But why do you have to lead this rebellion? Mycin's grandson or no, you're neither knight nor noble. So why make yourself a target like this? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd swear I was speaking to a blue blood. My station doesn't matter, Selica. I'm here because I was called. I have a duty to perform, and I'll perform it. No more, and no less. Oh, um... Do you think I wanted this fight? This all started because Lima IV went and angered the Empire. If you wish to point fingers, point them at the ruler who failed his people. It's his fault we're in this mess. That's not... Well, so what if it is? Maybe you should go become king if it's such a damnably easy job! What? Selica, that's not... You're awfully free with accusations for a boy with no idea what royalty entails! And now that you're a hero, I imagine the throne is next on the list, is that it? No, it's not like that at all, Selica. I just want to keep Zofia safe. Besides, there's an heir. 
A princess of the royal family may have survived. If she turned up and fixed all this, I'd happily return to Ram. You could come with me, you know? It'd be like old times. Come on! There's no secret princess! The Zofian royal family is dead! But how can you be... Enough! Just enough. Go fight your war if it makes you happy. I'm going to the Temple of Mela. Goodbye. Om. You... You stubborn jerk! Selica, you're one to talk about stubbornness. Jeez. Ugh, damn it all. I didn't even get the chance to ask her about the village. About why she had to leave. Oh, Selica. I had so much I wanted to say to you. How did it end up like this? Alm and Selica's heartfelt reunion was dashed by heated words. And once again, the two were parted. One chose the battlefield, the other, the mother's succor. And while they both sought to attain peace in their own way, their chances of finding it together seemed to grow increasingly slim. And that's going to be it for this episode of Fire Emblem Echoes. So, <clears throat> I was talking before about, like, uh, like, before where it's like, oh, this secret, they're the, the Salika's, uh, brother who perished a while ago. Starting to think that's the Masked Knight at this point. Anyway, next time on Fire Emblem Echoes, we're gonna be continuing, I guess, into Act 3. See you all then. Later!